This is Shred, and you're watching Metallica vs. Music Theory. In roughly 66.6 .6 seconds, we'll conduct a proper format analysis of Metallica's For Whom the Bell Tolls. First chorus song structure, plus the compositional devices used in Hetfield's riffs. Scales, harmonic content, chromatic passing tones. You can get the full tabs for this lesson with my compositional analysis at my Patreon page below. That's where you sell your soul to me in exchange for unlimited musical power. I'm waiting. So grab your axe and let's get to it. <laughs> The song begins with a crushing F-sharp power chord using triplets. Opening section here really firmly establishes the root note as E. Now, Cliff Burton's iconic bass line enters. Using a cool C chromatic passing tone, of course C stands for c and then at the end of the phrase he hits a C sharp note, which implies the E Dorian mode. Nice work, Cliff. <laughs> Lower in the mix, another riff starts to emerge against the first one. Winning the battle for dominance, riff 2 picks up speed and employs an F chromatic passing tone. Of course, F stands for f I want to point out here that Metallica does a brilliant job of establishing an idea and then later on developing it. This is really the essence of composition itself. Repetition and development. Right, James? Yeah. 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 Now, a triplet ostinato begins in the lead guitar. Ostinato is simply a repeating melodic figure. In rare form, Hammett disengages his wah pedal. Now, on a side note, you could have a lot of fun with this sequence. Try using inversion or flipping the direction of the intervals. Or perhaps you could try different ways to harmonize the lick. Maybe we could employ some rhythmic augmentation and make a doom metal riff. What do you think, James? Moving forward, the heavy reliance on E pedal tones continues. This time incorporating the flat five or B flat chord. The B flat then moves to an F sharp note, which really gives us an implied Dorian sharp four sound. After what seems like 666 minutes, Hetfield finally starts yelling lyrics over the simple riff in verse one. Which is important, don't be afraid to leave space in your arrangements. Gives us a much needed break and allows other instruments to breathe. Now, the chorus finally enters and we've actually heard this riff before. Except now it contains the melodic content of the vocals to create a new effect. And again, this is the repetition and development part of composition. We've reached the bridge, which means one of two things. You can either develop a previous idea or do something completely different. 
Metallica uses option one, developing the Hammett triplet ostinato from before. Except now it continues to descend, outlining the E Dorian mode, which is what Cliff Burton did earlier. At the end of the bridge, a second guitar starts to play the lick, creating a similar motion harmony effect. As we move on to verse 2, it's interesting to note how Hetfield structures the verse. In the second round of the verse, the chords change using that C and A. That helps to keep us interested and moves the content forward. Chorus repeats, and then something really interesting happens. A riff recapitulation. The verse that started the song returns, but now in a different form. Alternating 4-4 four, four, and 6-4 bars using quarter note triplet rhythms. This creates a delicious push-pull effect on the timing. One of those riffs that everybody's got to be watching every other guy in the band to play. Real talk for a minute. There's no reason to give a fuck about music theory unless it can do something for you. By categorizing song structure and compositional devices, we're more easily able to repeat the sounds we like. Now, does Metallica know what they're doing when writing these songs? Probably not, but I guarantee you they have their own way of classifying what they're doing. And that's all that matters. Nothing else matters, if you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grab the tabs, including my full compositional analysis at my Patreon page below. And if you really want to impress the babes, score some of this shred swag. Until next time, shred till you're dead.